Capturing a swing in SwingView Pro is very easy. First, you select the folder or player where you want the swings to record. Second, you press the letter R on the keyboard or click the ready button. This will activate the connection to your camera and you'll see live video or in this case playback from a tape. To capture, you're going to press the space bar one time at impact. So I'll fast forward the video a little bit, click on play, get ready, and hit the space bar once. You'll see that the swing is capturing and is recorded directly over to the swings list. And you'll notice the live video is still playing, so to capture another swing, all I have to do is hit the space bar again at impact, or I can click the capture button down here one time at impact. That will capture and save over to the swing list. I'm going to go ahead and take my camera and SwingView Pro out of record ready mode. And we can view the swings just by clicking on the swing in the swing list, and it will bring it up so that we can play it back frame by frame. If you're capturing live on the range and you know that you want to immediately take a look at the swings right after you capture them, you can turn off this lock live video, and you'll notice the difference is that this time when I capture, instead of leaving live video on the screen, so I'm going to hit spacebar, it's going to record that. Instead of leaving live video on the screen this time, it will immediately bring the swing back up on the screen for playback. There it is, and I can play it back. So I'm going to take it out of record ready mode again, and your swing is ready to be analyzed. An alternate method of capturing swings, rather than using the spacebar or clicking this capture button, is to use a microphone. And that's actually very easy to set up. If you plug in a microphone and go into the audio trigger settings, you can pretty much start by just moving these to about the middle. I'm going to select my audio input device, in this case my headset. And the whole key here to this working is that when there's ambient noise on the range, you don't want it to get into the red. Because anytime the audio levels get into the red, that's the same as you pressing the space bar on the keyboard. So basically, just set the microphone sensitivity so that it only gets into the red when you place the microphone down near the ball and the player actually strikes the ball. And when the ball is struck, this audio will spike into the red. When it spikes into the red, that's the same as you pressing the space bar, and the swing will capture automatically with that microphone. Once you've set up your mic levels and then use audio trigger, this is the master on-off for the audio. So if you don't want to use the mic, you just uncheck this. If you want to use the microphone and you have it plugged in, just check that and it will look for audio to trigger the swing capture. This is a good way to do it because it will actually make sure that your impact frames are set correctly. On a final note, and I've mentioned this elsewhere in another tutorial, you want to make sure that the impact frame is set properly so that the 9-up sequence, the 20-up, and the side-by-side -side modes all work properly. The way that you can check if your impact frame is set properly is as you drag through the swing, one of these frames is going to be yellow. And that frame is what is considered the impact frame. That's when you press the space bar, in this case when I press the space bar. Notice how late it is in the swing. And another way of accessing the impact frame quickly is if you press the up arrow key on the keyboard, it will cycle between the address, impact, and finish positions. So if you notice that the impact frame is off, like it is here, all you need to do is click on this yellow arrow and drag it back to the proper impact position and release it, and it will automatically reset the impact frame. So now when I go to address, impact, and finish, the impact frame is set properly, and all of these functions will work the way that they're supposed to. The last 10 minutes of video 